All right, hi everyone. So in this video, I'm going to um, talk about ODE, Ordinary Differential Equation, and how to solve problems of ODE using numerical methods. So this is a form of ODE, okay? It's a differential equation that contains one or more functions of one independent variable and its derivatives. So this is the definition of what ODE and uh, we're going to see how we're going to solve problems involving ODE in this chapter. The general idea of numerical methods for solving ODE is we are actually predicting a new value of a function or maybe y here. New value equals to all value plus slope times step size. So this is the general form of numerical methods for solving ODE. Okay, so this formula can be applied step by step to compute the final results. All right, the first one is what we call as Euler's method. We are predicting a new value of y using the slope. Slope here is actually the derivative at the original value of x, meaning the dy dx, to extrapolate linearly over the step size h. Okay, so this one is actually slope. Okay, the slope here. Um, so this is just now predict a new value of y equals to all value of y plus the slope or the dy dx times step size. Okay, so here is a graphical explanation of what solving ODE, um, that general form actually looks like. Okay, so you know your um, xi and then, and you know your yi here, and you need to predict the value for this yi plus 1, when x equals to xi plus 1. So true value is given here, and when you use numerical methods, you actually um, use a straight line. You actually extrapolate extrapolate this curve at this slope, at the slope of dy dx here, at the slope of xi and yi. You extrapolate linearly until uh, you reach this xi plus 1. And this shall be your predicted yi plus 1. This is what you are trying to figure out, predict. And the difference between the prediction and the true value here is the error, error that occurs in the calculation. So that's the general idea of how to solve ODE using numerical methods, and especially it um, involves Euler's method. Okay, let's look at example uh, for you to better understand. Use Euler method to solve the following. So given here a derivative, right, from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4 with a step size of 0.5. So given here initial condition, so let's say you have a data here, x and y. Initial condition, x equals to 0, y equals to 1. Okay, exact solution. Okay, also also given here, the exact solution is uh, y equals to this this one. Okay, so how are you going to do this? Given here, step size. Step size is 0.5. So you can figure out what is the the next the next point. So if the step size is 0.5, so the next point of x must be 0.5 because step size this one is h or equals to 0.5 and h here is step size and then because they actually ask you to predict the value of y here from x equals to 0 to x equals to 4 so the last point of x it has to be 4 so there are so many uh, other data involved and after 0.5 it should be 1.0 and then 1.5, 2.0, 2.5, blah, until 4. Okay, so you need to predict all the values of y involved. How, how to do that? This is the equation. 
This is the general formula of the Euler's method. This is the one that you are trying to predict. Yi plus 1, meaning this one. The next i. The next y equals to the old y. Yi is the old y, which is this. Plus the slope. The slope when um, uh, using the previous data, meaning using the 0 and the 1. Xi, yi. Times step size. Okay, so let's calculate the slope first. The slope. This is the slope, all right? And also the same as dy dx. From Euler's method equation, so substituted all the data given. So here, um, let's look at uh, the stages, all right? So first of all, you need to calculate um, y. What is the value of y? This, my, okay, the meaning of this equation here is the value of y when x equals to 0.5 equals to y when x equals to 0 plus the slope at 0 and 1 times step size. Okay, so here when x equals to 0, y equals to 1, which is which taken from here, the initial condition. When x equals to 0, y equals to 1 which explains this part. x equals to 0, y equals to 1. So this is the initial condition. And the slope. Okay, so we need to calculate the slope here. The slope when x equals to 0, y equals to 1. So the slope at x equals to 0 is, so where is the calculation or where is the uh, formula to calculate the slope. This one. This. This is the formula of the slope. Of the slope. Okay. So what you have to do is you need to calculate the dy dx or the slope. You just substitute the value of x into this dy dx and you will get your answer. So here x is 0. So you just substitute 0 into this negative 2 times 0 plus 12 0 and so on okay so you will get um, 8.5 so because this is 0 this is 0 and 0 so you get 8.5 as the answer for the slope so substitute all the values into this equation so y.5 equals to 1.0 1.0 is this okay one plus the slope times 0 0.5 is the step size so you get 5.25 5.25 now that you got your y for the second point you have to calculate the y for the next point when x equals to 1.0 okay go also given here the true solution when x equals to 0.5, y is this. So you can calculate. So you can see that the error is quite large, 63.1%. So again, I'm just showing this part here just to show you the difference or the error that um, occur when you predict it new, in, using numerical ways compared to the true value of the y. So you can see that the error, that the relative error is quite large. Okay, the true error, 63.1%. So for the second step, meaning this one is to estimate the value of y, to estimate y when x equals to 1.0. Let me just write it nicely here. X, Y. So initial condition is 0 and 1. Am I right? 0 and 1. Okay. Next is uh, 0.5 and 5.25. And next is 1.0. And you are trying to find the value here. Okay. So using the same formula, what is the value of y when x equals to 1? So this will equal to the value of y 
when x equals to 0.5 so you have to use the previous value so don't use the initial condition no more don't use this the values of the initial condition you have to use the previously calculated value before your uh, your current value okay so here the value of y when x equals to 0.5 is 5.25 you can see here 5.25 plus again this is the slope the slope also we use the point the previously calculated point not the initial condition please do not use the initial condition otherwise you are not going anywhere okay so you have to use the previously calculated then only you can see that the loop is going on and on and on so the previously calculated value is 0.5 and 5.25 so you just calculate the slope for this point so this is the calculation of the slope and then times the step size this is the step size okay so you will get 5.875 here is 5.875 okay so then the computation is repeated and you can see the results obtained uh, as shown in the table so this is initial condition and i have shown you the calculation for this and how to calculate the value of y when x equals to 1.0 okay so this is true true and this is the one that you are calculating euler here okay so you can try this on your own to calculate the value of uh, y when x 1.5 until uh, 4.0 and see whether you get all these answers okay so then we can compare this is the black colored curve is the true value of the y and using euler method with step size 0.5 you can see that the errors are quite big if we actually uh, use smaller step size you will obtain the result which has less error closer to the true solution so i'm not going to show you and any example when we use smaller step size but if you are curious you can try and if you use smaller and smaller and smaller step size the results will definitely moving towards the true answers